I was so scared of failing to the extent that I decided to shoot from all angles. When I failed, I wasn't crying because of the grade that I got. I cried for all the time that I wasted studying for the same exam for three exam cycles. In the end, I was just chasing deadlines, but not understanding any of the work that I was studying. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those who are stopping by here for the very first time, welcome to my channel. My name is Vinikai Vin for short, and this channel is called Her Name is Ven. I am super glad that you took the time to join me today and to listen to what I have to say. So today's video is going to be rather different from all the content that I've been putting up lately. And the difference comes in in that I am going to be talking about how I plan to change my approach towards taking actuarial exams. So just as a background story, I have been taking the same exam for the past three sittings and April 2018 was going to be the fourth sitting of going for the same exam and failing. So I've decided that there must be something that I can do to change the way my fortunes have been turning out. So this video is kind of an introspection into what went wrong each and every time that I attempted that exam. So the first time that I wrote the general insurance exam was in September of 2016. And at that time, I decided that I could not only handle one specialist exam, but I could do two, general insurance and life insurance. Bear in mind that the general insurance exam in South Africa is equal to two specialist exams in the UK. So I definitely had bitten off more than I could chew, but then I realized that I was rather cocky from passing two exams in April, CA1 and CT6, for those of you who understand or know what that is, because maybe you've taken actuarial exams yourself, or you're interested, or you've just researched for whatever reason. So I was still riding on that high, and I thought I could do it again which is why I attempted two exams, which are kind of the equivalent of three. It actually turned out that I failed pretty badly. I had an FB for general insurance and an FC for life insurance. Those were terrible marks. But then I went in again for a second chance in April of 2017. I wrote both life and general insurance again because I still felt like I could do it but then, at that time, there was a lot of pressure at work. We worked a lot of overtime and I just did not get enough time to study. So when that happened, I got an FB for general insurance again and an FB for life insurance. I had improved in life insurance, but then I don't know what happened with general insurance because they don't tell you a mark, they give you a range of marks which is not very helpful for when you revise next time. It's all trying to be better than you were last time, but then you might still fall short of where you're supposed to be in that particular setting. So the third time around, which was September of 2017, I decided to change my strategy. So at first I was thinking of taking a practical exam called communications and general insurance which I thought would be a lighter load but in the end I realized that that was still too heavy for me so I dropped the practical exam and I still went in for general insurance by itself and I this time around it wasn't that I didn't get enough time to study we got a lot of time to study at work I just was over invested in my method of study so I was so scared of failing to the extent that I decided to shoot from all angles. I got flashcards for ST7 and ST8 to study for general insurance. And I got an asset, which is a set of three past papers from the UK. No, three years worth of past papers from the UK. Both for general insurance pricing and general insurance reserving. So at that stage, I'm on three, six, twelve past papers. And then I decided that I would do all the past papers for the South African equivalent of general insurance from 2010 up to 2017. 
which was a total of 15 papers. And that's not all people. I then decided that I was going to subscribe to an online course that the Actuarial Society of South Africa was offering, which meant that I had to submit an online past paper every Tuesday. So in the end, I was just chasing deadlines but not understanding any of the work that I was studying. And that ultimately led me into getting another FB for general insurance. When I failed, I wasn't crying because of the grade that I got. I cried for all the time that I wasted studying for the same exam for three exam cycles. I had no life. My weekends were not my own. My channel had died, my friendships had died, my relationship with my family wasn't that alive either because all I wanted to do was to keep on studying, but it wasn't yielding results. Sure, the mocks were part of it, but that wasn't the entire story. I knew I had to make many radical changes if I wanted to see results, and that got me thinking about the last time that I had actually passed. I wanted to find out what it was that I had done and how it was that I had stopped doing that thing. In April of 2014, I wrote four exams and I passed three. This was part of my unemployment phase and I had convinced myself that if I were to just keep on passing exams, someone somewhere was going to hire me. So that definitely motivated me to work as hard as I could on passing my exams. In September of 2015, it happened and I got hired. So then I got comfortable because I had a job, but I was interning at the company that I currently work for. And I knew that's not what I wanted. I wanted more, I wanted a permanent position. So then I convinced myself again that if I'm to pass two exams, then they will make me permanent at that company. And so I did. I then went for it, I passed CA1 and CT6, and I got my permanent position. I realize now that when that happened, I lost my why. There was nothing that I still felt I was aspiring to and that not passing exams was acting as a barrier to something. I feel comfortable in my job, which is not a good thing at all. It's never a good thing to feel comfortable. You don't push yourself beyond the limits that you have. And I have kind of settled, which to be honest is not the best place that anyone should be in their life in their career and their professional development cycle. So at this point I've redefined my why. I want to become a fully qualified fellow of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries so that I buy myself a house afterwards. To make sure that I'm well on my way to achieving this goal, I have made one big change in my life. I've decided to stop writing exams with the Actuarial Society of South Africa and I've transferred my membership to the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. In that way, I am going to be writing exams that are better aligned to the training that I'm receiving here in Zimbabwe. I know that this comes with a huge consequence. I lose my CA1 credit because I passed it after 2016 April and the Institute and Faculty stopped recognizing it because the exam had been converted to an all South African context. But at least it'll be a good starting point to start with an exam that I know that I have passed before. And then I'll move on to writing my general insurance, which should give me two credits because the stuff I had been studying for is worth two exams with the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. Okay, so that's the big news, guys. I am going to do another video where I go into detail about the things that I'm changing to make sure that I pass, but um, for now I'll just post stuff on my Instagram on any progress that I'm making, any changes that I'm making, and I'll keep you guys in the loop. Wish me luck on this new path that I'm on, and I hope that in about four months time we'll be celebrating my pass for CA1, and in December we'll be celebrating my pass for general insurance, pricing, and reserving. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and please subscribe for more content from me. I'm not always this serious and bookish, but I also do fun stuff, interesting stuff, and cool stuff, or well, cool in my opinion anyway. That's me tooting my own horn. See you next week, guys. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a video. Bye.